As tensions continue to mount in South Sudan, the situation is still spiraling out of control, with fighting still taking place in the Upper Nile State and with the international community coming out with a firm hand on the country. Now, the question on everyone's lips, could this spell disaster for the newly born country? Of course, two, three days back, there was an attack on, uh, on Reng. Reng is, uh, is, 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 is within uh, Upper Nile State by the rebel forces. So we expect things to get worse before they can become better. Because as the two protagonists in terms of Kiri administration and Mashar administration try to outsmart each other both militarily and politically. The detention of four leading SPLM ideologues of allegations of plotting a failed coup against the regime of Savo Kir has been a contentious issue at the protracted peace talks in Addis Ababa. However, regional security analysts believe that a change of heart to release these political detainees, including the charismatic former SPLM Secretary General Pagan Amon, is meant to placate Kir's adversaries. This comes at the time that Machar's fighters seem to have gained an upper hand in the war. Former spy chief and regional security analyst David Plukol argues that such half-hearted measures will not resolve the crisis. Plukol opines that for peace to prevail, both Kir and his arch rival Mashar should not seek the presidency. So what South Sudan needs now is not just a Dinka Nuer uh, hegemony or domination. What South Sudan needs now is a more national process, which includes both people from Upper Nile, people from Barel Gazelle, and people from Equatoria. He argues that the deployment of UPDF to show up the fragile regime of Kir has complicated the situation. UPDF. Uh, his is, uh, hands are tied now because of the chorus uh, of criticisms in the region and among South Sudanese because UPDF threw its neutrality and became party to the conflict. Poko says the decision by the international community to slap sanctions on the ring leaders could restore sanity in a country that has been taken over by ethnic cleansing. Peace talks means they must be give and take. If nobody is giving, Nobody's taking. So what do you do to break that deadlock? You must weaken those actors and you must show them that they are not as important as the peace process. Although the South Sudan ambassador to Uganda yesterday dismissed views that the sacking of General James Hoth Mai was ethnically fueled, security experts believe tribal undertones influenced the decision. The term limit is four years. Four years to serve as a chief of staff in army. But in the case of this uh, Chief of Staff General James Odmai, he has uh, served longer. He has served his country very well. And therefore, the government believes that it is a time also to inject a new blood. Dinkaism is to take over all the whole place to be Dinkas. But Dinkanization is to force everybody else to toe the line of Dinka culture, Dinka way of doing things. Recently, Machara's forces captured the oil rich town of Benchu in Unity State and Malakal in Upper Nile. Kiru's regime believes that the latest victories against its forces are as a result of an invisible hand backing Machar. More civilians continue to die as millions remain misplaced, as fighting which has taken on an ethnic dimension rages on in the youngest nation. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.